Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's Andrea's here. This is an adult channel for various hobbies, including but not exclusive to adult colouring. So today we're going to start colouring this picture from Colour It's a Colour for Christmas. I'm going to use glitter gel pens. So I need to do some colouring today. Didn't do any yesterday and I was very depressed this morning because of the election uh, nonsense that's been going on in the UK. I was just like very, very, very annoyed. Um, but on a last note, I did have a delivery today. I had a diamond painting come and I've never done diamond painting and I'm thinking of letting you watch me ruin it because <laughs> I'm not going to be very good at this. So I have bought this. It's a rough collie. Um, my mum loves rough collies. So I thought I'd get one and have a go at doing one for her for her birthday. Her birthday is in February. If it looks alright, I'll ask my dad to get it framed. You can see here's all the bits. I might have to go at that in a bit. Um, but yeah, so... We will see. So, we're going to do this sort of pattern, gingerbread man, gingerbread girl pattern from Colour It Christmas, Colour, Colourful Christmas by Colour It. I think we'll just use glitter for now. I'm pretty sure I've got a nice brown in here. I'm just going to have a quick look. I've got so many glitter gel pens and so many gel pens. I don't know if there's a light enough one in it. I think I used one in this one for another gingerbread man before. I just need to have a look. Where's my glitter ones? Metallics, glitter. There. Oh, geez. so at the moment these ones are actually still in here because I need to use this bit of paper to have a look at it. Yeah, um, yeah, that'll do. Sort of a ready orange. Uh, that's just a delivery note for my PlayStation. The battery's gone already, so I'm gonna have to go and change it. Okay, that's better. So yeah, so I thought I'd have a go at diamond painting, which I've never done. Um, but yes, uh, I don't know. Never ever tried it. So we'll see. Oh dear, what colour is this brown actually? A lot of brown here. I will use that one because I'm trying to use up all my old ones and get them out of the pencil case so I can put the glitter, the new glitter ones in it. I'm going to use this one. It's a very similar colour. So here we go. How are we all? I know it's not been long since the last one. This is a little bit darker, but I like the brown. For the gingerbread. Um, I'm all right. Like I said, it was the election yesterday. We're not going to get into it because it's too bloody depressing. It really, really is. So I don't know. It is what it is, and we will have to deal with it. Oh, it's been a hell of a week, I tell you. I was trying to order some stuff off a website, and it didn't didn't take but they've taken the payment three times and they keep saying they haven't got anything it's too late to ring them now I will ring them tomorrow just make sure they you know I'm hoping that they'll see that the, if the payment goes through that they'll, they'll see there's no order and they'll bounce the money back to my bank account but I really want the order one of one of them don't want three of them for a Christmas present so I'm gonna have to try and sort that out tomorrow I think Here's me sniffling oh dear god another cold's come in the only good thing I can think of is that it is Friday. And uh, it's not long till Christmas. I am still colouring what I can. As I said, I've got too many whips on the go. I've got one in the Creative Haven Entangled Christmas, one in Hannah Lynn's A Whimsy Girls Christmas. I've still got the one from the Crayola website because I haven't received my white oh, Winker Stella. If I don't get it, if I can find my normal one, I'll just use the clear one on it. Um, and there's a few other bits I need to do on that. Uh, I've got um, what else have I got? One in the one of the colour in Heaven books, the Seasons book. Oh, I've got too many. I've got to start trying to finish them off and instead of starting new ones. And I'm still ordering more colouring books. Paul's going to make me do lines soon. I must not buy new, any more colouring books. I must not buy any more colouring books. 
And what I've done is I've ordered some mandala books. Um, the um, what's her name? Oh God, the one that's got the Christmas mandalas. Is it Camellia Angel Cover or something? Her name is or something like that. I have no idea. I'm terrible with names. I ordered Celtic Madonna Bandalas, a hundred ones and winter ones, I think it was. So, very naughty. I am trying to film a weekly vlog, but I just keep forgetting. And part of the problem is it's so dark out in the mornings that I can't vlog outside until after work, and that's when I forget. But it's Saturday tomorrow, so you never know. I might actually do some tomorrow. I might, might go out, depends on the weather. We're gonna get the decorations down and put the tree up. I think the snow globe already needs its batteries changed. It doesn't, wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised just because we have it on all the time. Um, so I'll, I'll change those, I need to get some more triple A's but so I'm going to try and film a bit of diamond painting tonight I don't know if it'll be any good I've got to be honest I don't know I'm probably going to be completely useless at it you can watch me botch it big time it only cost me a tenner so I'm not too worried I have been watching some hints and tips videos on YouTube so because I've never done it before so I've no idea what I'm doing I really want a Marilyn Monroe one so if I enjoy this one and if I complete it and I think it's okay I might get a Marilyn one a big Marilyn one and uh, do that one that'll be fun I haven't looked I'm sure you can get them Paul said he's seen them and he was going to get me one but he didn't think I'd do it because I'd never mentioned it before so I don't know where I'm, I'm not sure whether I will enjoy it because it seems very fiddly and I'm not into fiddly stuff so <laughs> colouring's fiddly enough sometimes isn't it let's be honest I'm just glad it's Friday so next week I've got Wednesday off and I'm taking my brother to Bristol to see his pensions advisor we do this every year we go Mum um, will have Jennifer. Mum and Dad will have Jennifer, and we'll go to Bristol. He'll go to his meeting, which lasts around an hour, sometimes a bit longer because they start chatting. And then after that, we'll just come home. Um, the last time we did it last year was when the first day that the tolls were abolished on the Seven Bridge. So it was really fun coming through through there with no tolls. I've only done it once since, but it was fun. Um, but when he's in there, I, I've got my mobile phone. I've got a lot of data on my mobile phone, which I don't use because when it's in my house, it's connected to the data, uh, to the Wi-Fi. So I don't actually use data at home, I only use it if I'm out. We're not allowed to use them at work, so I don't really use it there other than when I'm waiting to start or I've just finished. I don't use it much at my mum's, only just to check Facebook and eBay. So I don't really use up a lot. Most I used up was when we were on holiday in Tenerife. Um, and that's before I went on to the new contract with 10 gig. So, what I'll do is I'll take my headphones, get myself a, um, a snack and either a hot chocolate or a cup of tea, or possibly both. And I will sit and I will watch some YouTube videos on my phone. Use up some of that data. I mean, it's a good job, really, that EE doesn't have roll, roll your data over, <laughs> because otherwise I'd have tons of it. Of course, I'd use it all up on holiday, because when we're on a holiday... Um, when we went to Kiln Park last year, the, the, there was no Wi-Fi in the caravans and I used up most of my data, but I was very careful when I watched certain things. I'll be able to watch a lot more next year. And um, there we go, that's that one. Then when we did, I think I might use the lighter colour, if it is lighter, I think, is it this one I was going to use? Yeah, that one for the lady. A slightly different colour. Um, yeah, and then in Tenerife, they, although there was Wi Fi, it was exceptionally bad. It was, it was absolutely terrible, the Wi Fi in Tenerife. Now, that's the first time I've had that in the hotel, and maybe it was because of where we were in the hotel. 
um, but previously it's never been that bad so but I'll have plenty of data if we go anywhere again like that to watch my videos I, I do like keeping up with my videos see now she's sort of like got a dress on it's not obvious he's got trousers and a shirt on it's just like a gingerbread but it looks like she's actually got a full dress on it's not, it's just icing. So, yeah, so we're just using the glitter. I find that I'm using the glitter gel pens a lot at the moment. I love my glitter gel pens and Christmas is the perfect time to use it. Obviously, if you're doing fairies and things like that, that's also good. But I thought, this is great, I can use up. Oh, there's a phone, I'm not gonna answer, that's probably Paul's mum. And I can't get to it anyway. When he comes back down, if he comes back down. Because it's still quite early. I'll uh, get him up. He didn't sleep very well last night. And I've had a little doze this afternoon. Come on, answer phone, kick in. It's not that I like, don't like talking to his mum, I just I want to do the video. <laughs> yeah. So we've got different ones here. Like, so we've got the, the girls there and there. And we've got that one. Then we've got one with the top hat over this side. How fun. I'm not sure. something to do and it passes the time a bit of colour in and it's so relaxing I think it does help me sleep actually because last night what with the election and everything I didn't I couldn't sleep because we'd seen the exit poll and we knew what was happening so it was very depressing um, uh, and I'm, I'm not going to go into too much about it because you get enough politics anyway and if you want to know about it you can go and look it up online just don't read the sun or the mail BBC is just as bad <laughs> but uh, yeah so I couldn't sleep and then when I did get off to sleep uh, Jennifer woke me up and started crying so I had to sort her out and take her into bed with me for a bit she wouldn't settle back down so I went to sleep in her room, which is never fun, because, you know, because it's only a single bed and I'm all squashed up on the edge, because I put her next to the wall so she can't roll out onto the floor, because she's done that before, when we've been on holiday. I do like this uh, Colour It Christmas book, I like the Colour It books, I've got the Decades one as well, and I do like this one, and I am, quite, I mean, I like, don't like all their books, but I do like this one. And the decades one, which we will do one day. But we are trying to colour a picture in every single book I have. So the plan is that in January, once we get through this year, we will have, at the end of December, we will have a colouring book haul because, like I said, I've got another three on the way and I had a set of three arrive today and I've already got five. And I will probably get some for Christmas and pens and pencils. I'm definitely getting pencils because Paul got me the Colour in Heaven subscription with the pencils. Now, they were supposed to come with gold fibre pencils, but they're not because they haven't got them anymore. But I will be happy with any pencils because, yes, pencils are fun. Um, we think his dad's given us money for Christmas and I'm going to spend it possibly on supplies or books. It depends on how much it is. If it's enough to buy some alcohol markers, I will. And if it's just enough for a couple of books, I'll get uh, get a couple of books. So it really depends. I have got my Touch 5, but some of them are, are drying up. So I want some new ones. Can't afford Copics. Just can't. Too expensive. Can't justify it. I'd love to be able to get the Arteza Everblends and the Twy Markers. But again, I can't afford it at the moment. Now, I'm not saying that it, that will might that might not change in the future because it probably will. Um, our works usually get us a bonus um, in around 
April. We usually have it in April's pay. Now, obviously, I'm part time, so mine will be prorated down to uh, the equivalent amount for somebody who works my hours, and that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. But on top of that, I don't pay tax, so I get the full amount. Whereas somebody like my friend Bev, she works full time, her bonus is taxed. So I'll probably get about the same as her in the long run anyway, it's just that mine won't be taxed. Like last year I got £500 and I got it all. Um, so what I might do is save half of it. And it, cause it depends on what we get. If, they get. if we get £500 again, I work more than half. So if I worked 18 and a half hours, which is half a week, I would get 250 So I'm, I'm expecting I should get around 300 hopefully. If I do, fantastic. If I get less, I get less. It's not the end of the world. I'm happy for anything and it's good of the company to do it because they don't have to. Um, I will save half of it and I may spend some of it on some stuff for the channel. So it might be some markers or some books. I mean, I want the Clara Makova books and they're 30 pounds a piece. She's got four, so that's 120 quid just on four books. So what I might do is get one of those with it. I want to try and get one at the end of January if I can afford to. But yeah, so there will be a haul of supplies and books, definitely, because like I said, I've got 11 books already and I'm pretty sure I'm going to get some for Christmas because I'm pr obviously Paul's bought me Colour in Heaven, even though I might not get my first issue until January, that's fine. Um, there are colouring books on my mum and dad's list and they're on his and I'm hoping he will have got me one or two of them. And if he has, he has. And if he hasn't, that's fine. I know what the ones are and I can just put them and get them after Christmas. So, but I will have to cut down on supplies. I did want to say, and I mentioned this at the beginning of the chat, Hello to all my new subscribers. I have now reached 600 subscribers and I'm very grateful to you all for joining me on my uh, hobbies and my colouring journey because it is mostly colouring at the moment because I don't get a lot of time to read um, with Jennifer. At the moment, I'm, I know it will change. I do read when I can. I just don't read as much as I would like to. And I always feel if I'm making face-to-face -face videos, I should be wearing makeup. I know I don't with the weekly vlog, but in general I think I should. Um, and photography again I just don't have, it's not just the taking pictures that's the easy part, it's the post processing so it's once you've taken them if they're digital uploading them onto the computer and then going through and editing them and if it's film it's developing the film and then scanning it all in. Um, it takes a while to, to do so with colouring it's something I can sit down and do when she's having a doze if I've got five minutes um, first thing in the morning last thing at night um, like I said Paul's gone up for a lie down so I'm doing this a lot earlier um, I don't normally go to bed to around 11 o'clock it's only just gone eight so what I will do is sit here and do this so I think we've done enough then we might have a laugh at the time in painting and me struggling with that. I'm also left-handed, so I will have to work from right to left. But you know that, you can see that I'm left-handed. And uh, we'll, we'll just see what happens, so. It is just one of those issues where you wonder, hmm, what am I gonna do with this now? Because we've been doing this for near, well, just over 17 minutes and I'm only on my third gingerbread man. <laughs> oh dear me. It's terrible. It really is. That's what it's like sometimes, you know? So Jennifer had Christmas jumper day in there she today, so she wore a very cute little Christmas jumper. Now, I thought, I'm not buying a one, they're like 10 quid each, and I'm not buying a one, but she's only gonna wear one or two days. So I bought a one that was a size up, so it's a size two to three, so she can wear it next Christmas, hopefully, unless she really has a gross bit. 
and then she won't, and then I'll be like, hmm. But it looks nice. She's very cute. And she's got her Christmas Day outfit and her Christmas Eve outfit, which is a dress. It's just the same dress. It's a Santa dress. It's so adorable. I said she'll wear it to nursery on the Christmas Eve and then down to mum and dad's and then I'll, I'll wash it very quickly and get it dry overnight. So it's dry again for Christmas Day. Yeah. So we were supposed to have Christmas jumper day. I don't even own a Christmas jumper. But to be fair, the email went out after I'd left yesterday, so I couldn't do it anyway. Oops. So the three books I ordered today haven't come. They're very small square books and they're sort of like patterns and animal patterns. Not something I would normally do, but I'm willing to have a go at because, you know, why not? And I've got another bag of gel pens somewhere because these glitter gel pens, I've got two sets here that I'm using, this third set and the, the small set of 10. Now, the new set are still in their original packaging and so is the 10 set. The other two sets that I got from Hobbycraft and Lidl's, this is one of the Lidl's ones, I put all the, the non-glitter ones into a plastic Ziploc bag and I don't know where it's gone. It's here somewhere, but I just don't know where it is. So I am actually going to have to try and find it. Right, we're on the last lady one now. Here she is. I just, I'm one of those people who like to do things like all the gingerbread together, then it'll be probably all these these Christmas trees. So you might find this lot pretty dull because it's not very exciting. So. But I do like my gel pens. But it's like I said, I'm going to try, like when, when I finished here, I'm going to finish doing the bit in the Entangled book I was doing, which I'm doing a Christmas tree at the moment. Um, I've left the two metallic pens that I'm using for that one specifically over there. Um, and then I might do a bit in one of the other books because I've got so many on the go. I do want to finish as many of them as I can and we're on the 13th. Not good. But, I mean, I'm going to just keep counting Christmas until... I've done all the whips, uh, Christmas whips this year, even if it means I have to colour them in January. So I don't care anymore. I'm going to do it now. I'm still going to do a body as gingerbread coloured. I can hear Paul move around upstairs, so he might be down in a minute, in which case I'll have to stop. But maybe not. I don't know. Because he was out last night, they went to escape rooms for their Christmas works thing and then on for a meal. He's very tired. And, uh, we've both been very tired today, but neither of us slept very well. Uh, so I went to the post office and posted three eBay orders. I've not quite hit fees this month, but I'm hopeful that I will. I need to do some work on it. I haven't done any work for ages, I've got to be honest. I put a few things live yesterday, I haven't done any today. I've got three cameras that are drafted I want to do. I just need to check. Um, some of them have got, I think at least two or one or two of them have got lenses on. So I need to just check the lenses and put the details in. It'll work, so oops. So I want to just check all that and because uh, it'll be better to have that information I'll get them up and hopefully that'll kickstart some sales it's just it's been quite I mean most of my listings are clothing most of what isn't clothing has sold so I know that next year when we get to the car boot sales I'm gonna have to pick up as much sealed games as I can like board games because they they do sell quite, they do sell well in jigsaw puzzles as if they're sealed. So you 
go. Like I said, but this it doesn't matter if you colour outside the lines because it's just about having fun and relaxing. And sometimes you want to sit and you want to blend something and make it look really amazing. And other times you just want to sit and just glitter your world. Which is what I'm doing right now. I'm glittering up my world. We were talking about this in work yesterday, about how relaxing colouring is and how you can't go wrong with a glitter gel pen for colouring or writing or doodling. It does make you feel better. So we've been going 23 minutes and we've nearly finished our last brown bit of gingerbread. Like I said, I am going to go through pretty much all these glitter pens this Christmas, I think, and then I will need to get some more. Now, uh, I need a green that's got a fair bit of green in it, so I'm going to use this new one, uh, the new packet. Ooh, the top's come off of that blue one. Let's put that back on. Jennifer was playing with some of them earlier. Not these ones, to be fair. She was playing with them. Um, the old packs. She's not, uh, I think I'll put a light, light around the edge. There's a lovely light screen in the packs as well. So yeah, Chris has won Jennifer over. He won her over yesterday. So that was within 24 hours of arriving home and within an hour of seeing her really because he only seen her for about half an hour when he first got home and then half an hour before he'd won her over yesterday he gave her a cuddly lamb sort of pillow thing came all the way from new zealand it unfolds and she, they were playing with it yesterday and today they were playing so it's really nice she loves him to bits usually it's granddad that gets all the tension <laughs> attention now it's uncle chris so so when i'm vlogging um this weekend i'll try and show you the christmas tree when it goes up now in years gone by before jennifer arrived i always used to put up my bradford exchange i think they are was it franklin mint i think it's bradford exchange marilyn monroe christmas ornaments porcelain ones but i don't put them up anymore because i'm terrified they get broken so until she's like a lot older they will be remaining in their boxes and it'll be just boring baubles and things I have bought a few things this year. I know it's out, outside next door and over the road have got all their lights up. So we'll have to take Jennifer out for a walk in the dark. Uh, maybe tomorrow to see all the lights on in the street. We don't do lights. No, we don't. Not outside. I have lights on my tree and that's it. Um, cost too much in electric, I'm afraid. We have got a bell to hang up in the window if I can find some, some way of hooking it up. I will try. So, yeah. so this isn't the most exciting picture I know, but I hope you are enjoying it. Um, we might, like I said, if the weather's okay, we might go to town tomorrow and have a look around the shops. I haven't actually decided what we're going to do yet because um, I don't know we might go to the shops like I said it really depends want to get the decorations up would like to get out and get some fresh air haven't really driven the car very far yet other than the only place I've really driven it is to work and back so I wouldn't mind taking it into Newport and trying some different roads in the car park and all that stuff just to have a go and I'm sure it'd be fine though although well, like I said the CD player is weird it, it to me you should put the CD player in and it should cut on immediately and it doesn't and I find that really odd and then sometimes it doesn't come on at all and you start listening to rubbish radio I don't I don't do the radio um especially in the mornings I can't stand chirpy people first thing in the morning it does my head in really does um but uh yeah, we, uh, 
and then it'll start for no reason and I'm like oh okay that's a bit odd in fact I put Jennifer in the car yesterday and the CD was playing it was really bizarre because I, I put my stuff in the car locked the car I hadn't turned the engine and all I'd done really is open the car using the central lock-in put my bag in locked the car went to get Jennifer come down and lock the car and the CD was on and I was like huh I hadn't started the engine there was no reason that that should have been on it's a bit freaky I think my car's haunted I mean, it cuts out every time the traffic news comes on, but I don't mind, kind of mind that, because that might be important one day if um, something's going on in the area and I'm stuck in traffic. At least, oh, okay, I can say, well, this is what's happened. And if you get to it by a turn off, you can take another route, which will be just as jam packed because around, our, around Newport, it's a disaster area. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, I'm not sure what, yeah, that is that as well. Well, it's not and it is. It's hard to know. Yeah, okay. Okay. There's a doobly on it, so it has to be a bulbul. I've gone right down into that, that's fine. But not, yeah, slightly different here. You make, it, you make it sound like it's so important that you get everything exactly right and it's not. It's just colouring. It's just a bit of fun. It doesn't matter if you get it wrong. Because, yeah, it's fun. I do love these pens. They have lost a very bright pink somewhere over by the sitting room. It was there earlier by the... Sofa, but this when Jennifer was playing the pens, it'll turn up. It might have gone down the side, and I'll have to move the sofa out and get in. That's always fun because the sofa's so heavy. Okay, so the camera stopped. I'm not sure when, but as you can see, I'm there. I was just saying that I've lost one of my pink, really bright, nice pink glitter pen that I really like somewhere over in the other room. But I will find it. It might have gone down the side of the sofa, and I'll have to move it out. Blah 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 blah. Let's go this way because we're doing the trees and I'm left-handed so I have to go from right to left so I don't smudge all the ink. I'm not going to do much more. I'm probably just going to do uh, these green bits and then we'll stop because uh, it's been going on for over half an hour now, I think. I'm not sure because it stopped, but yeah. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. And all that happens when I finish, I might have a quick look at this diamond painting and then I'm going to go and watch some YouTube while colouring the tree in Entangled Christmas. Creative Haven one, because I do like it. It's, I picked quite a... well, none of them are complicated. It's, none of them are really complicated. It's just colouring. It's just fun. It doesn't really matter if you get it right or wrong. You know, it's just a bit of... It's to relax, it's to help you relax at the end of a hard day. It, it does help. And it is, it's nice. Oh, I'm stiff. I quite like this picture. I do like these, this book, and it might take me a while, but we will do it, I think. Maybe next time I'll just concentrate on one section. It's just because I like to use the same colours for all the same things, so all the trees need to be the same green with the same shade in, um, or the same lighter green around the edge. So that's why I do it like this, otherwise I'd probably forget which colour I was using, especially as I've got other paintings on the go, other pictures on the go with the same pens. I don't really want to use up all the ink and then not be able to complete it because I have to wait for Amazon to deliver another set. Because <laughs> these ones were from um, as is Amazon, I can't even speak, from Amazon. I don't really want to have to buy them because they are, they're not, they're not expensive. They're only $15.99 for a hundred. I only really want to use the glitter ones at the moment. I have used the other ones, don't get me wrong, I have been using them. In fact, I've used a plain blue one in, in Tangled Christmas for the sky. 
and I will be using the plain ones for other parts of, of the picture. So. Like I said I do like these new ones I've got. I'm not sure what the green's like on them, I haven't used it yet, so. When I do the haul, if there's any ink left in them, I might just do a quick swatch and show you what they're like. That's why I'm doing it like this, which you might find quite boring. But hey, if you are finding this boring, just let me know and we'll do something else in the next one. It's a bit more complicated. And there's a lot of detail in this picture, so it's going to take a while to do. So if you want to see something else, just... Um, have a quick look through my Christmas colouring books um, video and let me know which book you want me to colour in. In fact, let me know what you want me to colour in next anyway, so even if we do finish this on on screen, we'll, um, we'll do it. And like I said, in January, I was trying to say in January, I'll be doing a, my, uh, there'll be two um, specific videos out, which will be everything I've ever coloured and my entire colouring book collection and uh, what I would like is for when I do that video is for you to say which which um, which colouring book would you like me to see me colour out of you know what I've done now the complete collection is uh, over 150 now it might be more than 160 I don't actually know I haven't counted them since I've got all these new ones most of which are Christmas uh, obviously we will probably be and this year do uh, next year do Christmas in July. I didn't do that this year because I wasn't colouring very much at the time because of Jennifer and everything. But next year we will definitely be doing Christmas in July. So I will probably pick for Christmas in July books that I haven't completed a page in and either finish a whip or if there's any left because I'm going to try and do all the whips even if it means going into January. Or I will use a book that I haven't coloured in because I have got quite a lot. It's terrible. See, I do like these colour it books. And I am addicted to Christmas books. More than any other time of year. I like them. I mean, I, I like particular artists. Like, I like Hannah Carlson and I like um, Selena Fennec and Hannah Lynn. So I don't mind getting their books. And we will be. See, that is the end of the tree there, I think. But it's also not. But it's hard to tell, so I'm just colouring it in green. Doesn't matter, because that looks like one of those stripes there. So. Yeah, it could, yeah, no, I don't think it is, actually. Uh, it could be, it might not be. Who cares? It's only a bit of relaxing. So I don't know how I'm going to find diamond painting, uh, whether or not I'm actually going to enjoy it or not. I might take a break after this one and then come and do the diamond painting. Have a cup of tea, watch a YouTube video, and uh, clear away the colouring supplies. And uh, see, I don't know. It's it's, it's something new. It's nerve wracking. Colouring, I find relaxing. It's not nerve wracking. It's something I enjoyed doing when I was a kid. And even I mean, when I worked for Yale, um, Yale Limited, in their contact centre when we worked for um, Directory Inquiries one of the, the managers every now and again would go around with felt pens and she'd print off colouring pages from the internet and say come on you've got a bit of time it's quiet today you know have a colour it's relaxing it's good for you and this was back prior to 2011 before before colouring really took off as a a relaxation thing for adults we um we were doing that just having fun 
and it was great fun and we didn't think anything like oh this is for kids we just thought oh yeah this is fun let's do it and I think it's a wonderful thing that this has taken off as a legitimate hobby and that there are so many fantastic um, colouring books simple and intricate and you can colour in a kids book or you can make only buy adult books it's entirely up to you you know I've got books ready for when Jennifer's older so she can colour in them I've got her a frozen colouring book I've never watched the film I've got it but I haven't watched it yet I've got three other colouring books I got from Liddles and they're just simple little big black line art you know thick line art pictures um and at the moment she would just scribble on them and that's okay too but she watches what mummy does and she likes scribbling with the pens because she sees mummy doing it and eventually she's going to click well mummy's actually cut not scribbling she's block blocking in she's making it look nice and one day it will click I mean she's not even two yet so it won't be for a bit but it will happen and then she can sit and do what she wants if she wants to scribble on them she can scribble on them if she wants to colour properly she can do whatever she wants obviously not with my expensive stuff though but there are so many budget brands like Crayola I forgot the, as you've seen a hundred super tips I've used them a little bit but not much I might not she might end up having them I do use them every now and again just when I want to colour in something fun it is possible that that is the bottom but I don't think so because oh, I don't know <laughs> Oh, this is getting on now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna literally finish these four trees, and then that'll be it for on this one. So, and I'm gonna go make myself a nice hot cup of tea, have a bit of chocolate, and watch a video. And then, as long as my hands are right and it's not aching, because obviously using gel pens, look how there's not much ink in there, can make your your hands ache, as can the diamond thing. I might have a go. I might find it a bit awkward with the camera. I might have to get a, a tripod for my phone and balance it over the top and, and do it like that. Because I'm left-handed, I want the camera to be on the other side of me, but it doesn't really work that way. I might try that with the diamond, but then the, the picture's too far the other way, you see, so I don't, I don't know. We'll have a look, we'll give it a go. I may not show you the diamond painting video if I do it. It might just end up being scrapped and I'll just do the diamond painting when I feel like I'm doing something different. And then you'll go, no, we want to see you do a diamond painting. We want to see you cock it up. And I'm like, no, you don't. You don't want to see me cock it up. Nearly done. I'm getting tired myself because, like I said, I didn't sleep very well last night because Jennifer had me up in the middle of the night. And that's the thing, babies will do that. She's still young. I am kind of looking forward to when she's a bit older and she really knows what Christmas is and she's excited to see what Santa's brought her. And she wants to climb into bed with me and show me her stocking and the stuff in it. I mean, obviously, it's, I don't really want her to climb into bed with me at five o'clock in the morning and show me, which is what she probably will do because that's what I did. But I, I'm kind of looking forward to her, the excitement. I'm already enjoying Christmas more than I have in years. I'm remembering how I felt when I was a kid. And I can't wait for her to be that excited and... You know, if I was younger, I would have another one, but I'm not, because I remember the fun that me and my brothers had, planning uh, midnight feasts on Christmas night after Santa had been, and so we could exchange, you know, show each other what we'd got in our stockings, and mum coming in and saying, get back to bed, and we'd hoarded all this fizzy drinks and stuff. <laughs> Those were the days, and I'm looking forward to her. Um, being excited for it I really I really am looking forward to that so 
I'm gonna turn it around and zoom out so you can see what we've done in this very long video, but we've done very little. But there we go, that's what we've done so far in this one. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me some comments down below. Um, like I said, look at the other video of the colouring books I've shown you for Christmas. Let me know which ones you want me to see me colour in. If we get a chance to, I will try and do more than one. No nails, I don't do nails. And um, I will see you all soon in the next video. It might be diamond painting, you never know. I'll see you soon. Bye.